wanted to do uh, an overview of the an extension I've written called Current HP for Fantasy Grounds 5th edition rule set for D&D. Um, I'm going to go through all the features, though this is version 2.4, so for some folks, I'll try to point out what features are new and what features have changed. Um, this is version 2.4. Four, uh, it requires Fantasy Ground 3.3.6 or newer, um, leveraging some of the updates they made in that build of the software. So I'm going to go ahead and dive in and uh, kind of get started here and uh, point out what I've done. One of the first things that you'll uh, on the left hand, I'll, I'll mention on the left hand side of the screen, I have the GM's view, while on the right hand side of the screen, I have the uh, the player's view, and. The first thing you'll notice is a new field that's been added to the character sheet called uh, HP. This represents the current health of the character. So you have their current HP, their max HP, and then I've moved wounds over here to the right-hand side. Uh, I'm not getting rid of this field right now. I may do that in another extension where I just get rid of wounds altogether. This is available in both the GM's view and the player's view. you also know that this additional field has been... Uh, this also matches the changes that have been made up here to the combat tracker. Now, the combat tracker was always wounds, temp, max. I've simply added HP. This felt like a more natural way to display it. You'll notice on the player side, it does support the different ways the GM may want to display this health to the players. And I'll go down here. You can see that. So here we have as status, none, uh, with the full boxes, and again, back to status. So how does this work? So as you change the wounds, let's say we cause some damage here. I'm just going to do a roll, and I'm going to drop this on here. You'll see that it automatically updates the HP. I have also incorporated the color support that was in wounds as well, so you can see that. So as damage is applied to wounds, and you can apply this here, or you can apply it up here, apply it up here on the combat tracker as well. It'll add the wounds, but it will update the current HP of the player. This also works up here. So, for example, if you want to make adjustments, and this supports scrolling, so if you want to change this value, you'll see that they update in real time. Uh, this works for the NPCs as well, so it'll update their current HP likewise. So we can make these changes relatively quickly on the fly. Um, and that's really what I had in the extension before. The changes that I've made to the latest version are the fact, uh, I'll show the first change, is that you can actually change the current HP. So say I just want to add three. I can just quickly add three, and it will change the wounds to represent that. Again, in the combat trackers on the player sheet. Um, this works for NPCs as well. So if I want to change the max HP or the current health of the NPC, I can do that, and it will apply the appropriate number of wounds. A few caveats when you're doing this with NPCs, they have the auto-delete option here. If you start uh, reducing their health and you get down here to the bottom, you'll notice that when I do this, it will jump. And if you keep scrolling, so let's do this, I actually start changing the current health. So you can see that it gets a little goofy here. Same thing can happen with the initiative. Notice the zombie's at eight. If I just start randomly scrolling, I've now changed his and I changed his. So. Be cautious when you're scrolling on current HP in the combat tracker. Um, so I've done that, I've, uh, but I've done a few other things here as well. Um, so dragging and dropping dice is a nice way to manage this. So again, I drop that, that goes down. I can reduce the current wounds like so. But let's look at, at one of the really cool things that I've uh, I've done here. And that's the ability to make modifications quickly on the fly. Say you just take three wounds and somebody forgot to add it here. And you got to quickly do that math. It's 12. Yes, I get it. But say you just want to add three wounds. I've added the ability to double click on this. And you can type plus three. And it will add three wounds. Likewise, you can type minus, say, four. And it will drop it down to eight. And you can see that it updates it accordingly. And I've done this for all the fields here. So say plus six, temp HP, all these have caps. So say I do minus eight. It, well, actually that did go down to minus two. Scrolling should have, uh, temp HP, I have not set that on. I have done that on wounds. They stop at zero and they max out at the max HP of the player. And I did that for HP. I did not do that for temp HP. 
Max HP, say you level up and you don't do standard health and you roll, you can just say, what did you get for the roll? I got nine. There, it's done the math for you. You'll also notice that when you do this, like when you change the max health, I keep the wounds and the current HP stays the same. So again, minus say nine, we can quickly do that math here. This also works up in the combat tracker as well. So say I need to add wounds to this, I can quickly do that. I can, uh, and as soon as you, if you hit escape, it'll get out of it. So say you accidentally started typing plus six. If you hit escape, it'll go away. And when you come back, it'll go there. I hit minus four. Or if you click on another field, that will go away. So you hit minus four, enter, and it'll go away. Or you click on another field, it will go away. Or you hit escape or double click on it again, and it'll go away. And this works for all these fields. So... And again, I could hit plus 99 here, and it'll cap at my max HP as well. And this, obviously, this works on the player side uh, likewise. So if I say, you just say, hey, give yourself eight wounds, I can do that. Or subtract two wounds, I could do that. Or give yourself four health. You actually don't have to hit plus. Uh, you only have to use the negative sign on negative values here. So... Um, so hopefully you find this useful. These are features that I've really wanted in here. I really like using HP as opposed to wounds. I've kept those on there. Uh, I really wanted this ability to add values and subtract values quickly and easily on the fly manually because I sometimes dice don't always work. Uh, you forget to drag and drop it. Player doesn't have an NPC targeted or something like that. It just makes it really, for me, really easy. So here... Cause 60 wounds of damage, boom, he's dead. I can delete him now. So anyway, if you have any questions, you uh, please post them in the forum link that I'll post below, that I'll link below where you'll be able to find this extension for Fantasy Grounds.